In this video, I want to show you how to insert Power BI visuals into your PowerPoint pack. Firstly, what if we want to insert an entire page of Power BI report into your PowerPoint pack? How do we do that? First step, hit insert, and then hit Power BI, and then it will prompt you to paste a URL from Power BI in here. So how do we get the URL? Go to Power BI surface, Yes, and then in the page, go up to share and then click copy link and then hit copy and then go back to PowerPoint and then paste it, control V and then hit insert. And then voila, your report is in here already and you can resize this, make it bigger. Yeah. And watch that. How nice is it? Auto resizing. Now, notice something on the right, there is filter pane that you can show by clicking or hide like that. Yeah. Now, in here, there is also option to select or delete, show as safe image. When you click show as safe image, there is no interaction. But when you click that one more time and untick that, then this report is linked to Power BI. What does that mean? It means that it's interactive. Yeah. So the charts, they all change when you select some items from your visuals. So it's really cool. There is drop down box in here that you can play around with. Okay, so that's the option on the right where you can select show a safe image or you can let it interact. Now, I don't really use all of this except the show a safe image. And yes, sometimes I hit delete to remove these visuals. Now, that filter pane you can show or hide as mentioned earlier or if you want it completely hidden you can go down here and then just click that now watch it's now completely out of sight and there are other options in here for example you can hit refresh to get the latest data you can hit restore to restore original item view let me just show you for example i am filtering sydney now sydney sales is flat and then if you go and hit reset it will bring back the original. Now, the coolest thing is there is data insights. Now, when you click data insight, there is intelligent insights about the data of our slides being automatically generated. This is like, yeah, artificial intelligence. Now, you have an option to paste it on the slide so that you can read it. Sample, and then let's just resize it. And let's just read what it says. It says total sales was higher for 2022 and 2023. And hold on, let's resize this thing. Wow, average sales is also higher. Lots of insight in here. Now, of course, it's up to you if you want to keep them. I'm going to keep them for now. And then let me just continue to show you the various option. There is this outline where if you click it, it's adding a box. And then if you don't want it, just remove it. And then there is also an option to clear the data, which will make this disappear. For example, let me just do that and voila, it disappear. And if you want it back, simply just copy the URL and then go back to PowerPoint and paste it again. And soon it will be back. So that's the, the first option, how to insert an entire page of Power BI report. And next, what if we don't want to insert an entire page? What if we only want to insert a chart or a table? How do we do that? For example, let's go back to our Power BI surface. Let's say all I want is to insert this portion over here, just the line chart. How do we do that? Hover to the charts and click the three dots and there is share. And then click link to these visuals, hit copy, and then go back to PowerPoint and then hit insert Power BI and then hit Control V in there, insert. Now, similar to before, we get something which is linked to Power BI. There is filter pane over there, which you can hide by doing that. Now it's hidden, for example. And the option that you see is really similar to what I've shown you earlier. And then, of course, you can hide that as well. So that way, in this page, we have this chart linked to Power BI. Look at that. You can still see the tooltips. How cool is that? Now, how about if you want to insert 
a table. For example, maybe this table. Same thing. Just hit the three dots and then look for that share, link to this visual, click it, hit copy, and then go back to PowerPoint and then insert another visuals over there. Hit Ctrl V, hit insert, and voila. We have our table now, link to Power BI. And I don't like seeing too many stuff over there, so let's hide it. Isn't that nice? I hope you find this video useful and see you next time.